consider two sets A and B. Set A consists of apples, pears and watermelons, while set B consists of bananas, oranges and watermelons. Let's find the union of the sets A and B. A union B is a set consisting of all the fruits that are in set A or in set B or in both sets A and B. So A union B consists of apples, pears, watermelons, bananas and oranges. How about B union A? B union A is a set consisting of all the fruits that are in set B or in set A or in both sets A and B. So B union A consists of bananas, oranges, watermelons, apples and pears. Let's bring back A union B. Since the ordering of the elements in the set does not matter, we observe that A union B has the same elements as B union A. Therefore, A union B is equal to B union A. This is called the commutative law of union. It simply means that when we find the union of two sets, the order of the union does not matter. Does this law also apply to intersection? Let's see. Let's find A intersection B and B intersection A. A intersection B is the set containing fruits in both A and B. Since watermelon is the only fruit that is common to both sets, A intersection B contains only the watermelon. B intersection A is the set containing fruits in both B and A. It also contains only the watermelon. Again, observe that A intersection B and B intersection A have the same set of elements. Therefore, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. This example shows that when we take the intersection of two sets, the order does not matter. Therefore, we also have the commutative law of intersection. Let's do an exercise. A is a set containing numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. B is a set containing numbers 2, 4, and 6. Can you use these sets to verify the commutative laws of union and intersection? Since A union B is a set consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, while B union A is a set with the same elements, therefore A union B is equal to B union A. Similarly, A intersection B and B intersection A have the same elements. Therefore, they too are equal. In this video, we learn to verify the commutative law with respect to union and intersection with simple examples.